Hello, Namaste. Welcome back, friends and fam, to Divinity Original Sin 2, episode 11. In the last episode, we were in a cave right here on Dragon's Beach. We killed a uh, Sluty Witch. We got a Blood Rose Potion, which uh, Sibyl drank, so she is now substantially stronger. And we actually got some epic items that I forgot to identify, so I wanted to do that with you guys. So you can enjoy it along with me. So we got some boots that we can't identify yet. We got a belt. Constitution, leadership, and 3% dodge. That's not bad, but not worth losing the belts that we got. Got a nice shield. If we wanted to throw on a shield at any point, that would be a good upgrade. And an intelligence helmet, which we could actually equip if we wanted to. Because we do have some points in intelligence from gear. Two points in necro, one in wits, and one in pyro. Hmm. That's almost tempting to take on Losa. She would get a little bit of crit. One point in crit from the wits. One point in pyro. She could learn peace of mind. And plus two to necro is actually going to be... I think we're going to use that. Let's go ahead and take this rune out. Let's throw that helmet on. What does it look like? Oh, shit. Gives her mad dreads. I love that. We're going to use that. And then she should actually be able to learn... Uh, peace of mind. Cool. Um, why don't we drop provoke? Yeah, I think we'll drop provoke and take peace of mind. Throw that. Oh, shit. Fucked up. Fucked up. Let's throw peace of mind over there. And we can actually go and deal with this big-ass dragon that we saw at the end of the last episode right now. Now, this dragon was cursed by the witch that we just killed, so we could set him free. However, setting him free would yield far less experience and far less loot. So I think we're going to continue in the fashion that we've been doing and uh, kill the dragon. Although he is a cool guy. I'm not happy about it. We are going to kill him. Plus it's a fun fight, so. As you can imagine, this thing is pretty tough. Hello. The freed dragon looks sick and pale. As you approach, he stretches his tattered wings weakly and fixes his intense gaze upon you. Frozen tears glint in his eyes. My gratitude for your efforts, friend. Yet I am no more free now than I was in those chains. Please, help me find true liberty or sing me to the endless slumber. Yeah, I'm probably gonna send you to the endless slumber. I could free you, but I'm well, a dick. Of course, that must be why you stand before me. Slain called to Lady Death, and here you are. A coincidence? Jester, say you heard Slain call, and you have come to take his mortality. It's truly you. Truly come to break the bonds that hold me to this decaying body, this entropic mind? No. I see that you jest. Would that I could laugh along. Oh, I'm not joking. I'm going to kill you. My soul is bound to joyless obedience. Purged of my source by the wickedest of witches, I stand enthralled to her every whim. She uh, has only to command, and my traitorous body complies. Yep, so we could uh, kill the witch like we did and release the dragon, but it's time to fight, bitch, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and cast Enrage. <laughs> And then get him with some big dick crits. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> she frozen. That's not good. Um, he's still got 315 physical armor, which we need to break through before we can CC him. So let's go ahead and blink behind him. 
Let's... We don't actually want a Sawtooth because we want to do physical damage to his armor. So let's do that. That. Flesh Sacrifice. Adrenaline. One more attack should break his physical armor. And then as long as we don't fucking miss, we can knock him down. Excellent. He stands back up for turn. Go for Sawtooth. Knock him down with Battering Ram. And then Losa is unfrozen. Let's go ahead and encourage. And let's just beat the hell out of this guy. And turn. Let's backstab. Backstab. Yeah, we got this. We good. 6,000 XP for killing the dragon. If you do not have CC, a lot of CC, that fight can be very, very difficult. I made it look easy, but I'm just that good. Uh, we got the Fang of the Winter Dragon, which is an absolutely insanely good sword. However, it requires level 9, which I am not. And a two-handed epic sword. Very cool. Let's identify all this shit. Ugh, I need lore master. I need lore master. Oh my god. All right. So we need lore master to identify that shit. Which hopefully we will be able to get one more point in lore master the next time we level up. And this is the pig that we saved. This is the pig that was on fire, and now we should be able to turn her into a vendor. Shit. If we had Pet Pal. Fuck. Alright. Well, if you have Pet Pal, you can talk to this pig. Tell it to go back to the Shrine of Amadia, get it to bathe in the waters. It'll turn into a sorceress, and you can buy shit from her. But... Sorry, pig. You should learn to speak English. Would have worked out better for you. Ugh. You lose out on all that potential gear. What a shame. Maybe Pet Pal is worth it. I don't know. There's a little bear cub over here that you can talk to if you have Pet Pal. And its mom is dead, and it's very sad. What's this? Okay, that's that spot. Where we fought the Void Woken. Hello, what have we got here? Who's there? Oh, oh, I can hear you. Captain, is that you? Nope. A young magister tenderly fingers two fresh gashes across his eyes and face. His fingertips hesitate over his closed eyelids. He's being blinded. At your approach, he spins to face you and readies his shield. All right. Stop! Stop! Who, who goes there? Uh, assume a persona. Say your name is Magister Singer. Singer? I don't... I don't know any singer. Tell me the truth. Who are you? Uh, drop the ruse and tell them the truth. You're a sorcerer, and you've escaped Fort Joy. Escaped? Hold still. I need to... I need to apprehend you. Ha! <laughs> Good luck. He sidles blindly beside the cart, groping his way toward you. Tell him the next step he takes towards you will be his last. I, I, I can't let you go. It's my... Job, it's why I'm here. Say that in his current condition, in a place like this, his only job is to stay alive. This isn't about me. It doesn't matter if I live or die. What matters is that you stay here. You and the rest of the sorcerers. Uh, sorry. Don't you understand? You're so dangerous. It isn't your fault, but you are. If you leave this place... He could bring a void woken on your head at any time. Yep. He can. <gasps> Oops. Undead. Sorry. Skip dialogue. They overturned the cart. Dragged us out. They. They wanted to rip us apart. Did they? We beat them back, but. But they got Faray through the heart. Got me across the face. Landon went back to the fort to bring help. 
Uh, why were you left behind? I have a job here. I might be injured, but I'm still a good guard. Now, uh, hold still. Uh, no. He pulls a pair of shackles out of his bag and holds them out, open toward you. Uh, I wonder what happens if you allow him to shackle you. Raise your weapon. This has gone on long Where enough. Where are you? Where did you go? Please. Please. Oh, come here. Sorry, dude. You seem like a decent bloke, but, uh, no. No. Fucked with the wrong girls. Hey. Somebody brought a potion. Go into the light, sweet prince. Go into the light. Alright, cool. That's a thing that happened. Killed a blind magister. And I don't even feel bad. Pearl. Yeah, there's the dead bear's mom. Oh, a human torso. I think we have some uh, body parts for uh, Sibyl to eat. So we should do that. Anything in your bag? Nope. We got a head. You are floating a few inches above the ground. Your friends are impressed. You bask in their hoots and hollers. Your favorite party trick. Huh. Interesting. Oh! Oh, we got the skill spread your wings, which is something that I wanted. Great. You are an abomination. A crucified figure blazing with sauce. You hear screams and then the scent of charred flesh. Ugh. All right. You are awash with muddled thoughts, confusion, anger, sadness, loathing, a shocking absence of joy. Cool. All right, cool. Hey, we got spread your wings. That's awesome. Uh, but that requires polymorph two, and we only have polymorph one, so we'll drop that for now. And what do we want to take instead? Probably be good to have armor of frost on somebody. Oh, you don't have. Why do you have armor of frost? Oh, you probably got that from a body part. Let's take bullhorns for now. Let's play with that. See if it's any good. Uh... Is there anything over here worth doing? Doesn't look like it. I'm not going to go all the way out there just for a crate. Let's have a look at the old map. Um, We did the beach. We did Brachus's castle. We did the dungeon. We've done all the swamps. I think we are ready to move on towards the end of Act 1. Feels good, man. Nah, camera got lost. Ugh. Hang on. There we go. Alright, so we need to... Actually, are the Seekers over here yet? I think we need to go talk to the Seekers. To tell them to come over to the beach. Um, unless they're over here already. Hey, what's up? It looks like these people ran into a magister encampment. Okay, cool, cool. And were slaughtered for their troubles. Let's get this waypoint. Let's go over to Amadia's Sanctuary. Let's talk to the Seekers. Oh, we also need to... We, we've got quite a bit to do here. Let's start by talking to uh, Gratiana. She was Brachus Rex's consort in the past. So, you returned Gareth to his flock. I must say, I never thought to see him again. Let's uh, sell some shit to her before we get too far into this. Just get rid of 
all that shit. Uh, we don't need a drained wand. Did you see? Garrett's back. He's here to take us home. Uh huh. Yeah, I saw. In fact, I saved him. That, don't need that. Don't need that or that. Soothing cold we might still use. Oh, a necklace with a socket in it. I'm actually I'm accidentally giving her too much. Close enough. All right, let's just talk to her. You have my thanks for giving them hope, but I fear for their future. They cannot escape these swamps. They do not have the strength. Ask if there's anything she can do to help the people here. Armadia has not gifted me the grace to heal, nor the strength to fight. There is nothing more I can do. Uh. Say that if she doesn't help the Seekers, they're all doomed. Surely there's something she can do? Hey! Perhaps you are right. Perhaps there is another path. Perhaps. I told the Seeker that the soul-forged weapons of Bracchus Rex remain hidden in a vault. But the Magisters recovered them before he could. Yeah, there I got them. They failed to reach the armory in time. But there is another vault. Yeah, I know. If you can steal away these weapons... Your friends may well stand a chance. Yeah, I already got him. But beware. Such items are of limited power. Yeah, I've already found the vault. You have uncovered Bracchus's hoard. Tell me, did you find anything else? The vault contains relics, soul jars. Did you see them? Do you have them? Uh, yeah, I did. You did find them, actually. Asks what she wants with them. They are relics of great power. Please, you must give them to me. If I can make an offering of them to Armadia, it could aid your cause. So we have her soul jar, which is what has imprisoned her to life for so long. So hold on the soul jars. You have some questions you'd like to ask first. Questions? There is no time for questions. Just give me the jars. Uh, observe that she seems very keen to get her hands on these jars. Ask why this jar has her name inscribed on it. It matters not. All that matters is that you give it to me. Um, should we complete the quest? Yeah. I'll give it to her. She reaches greedily for the jar, tearing the cap off. You see a green glowing light emerge from the jar, enveloping Gratiana. By Armadia, I feel... I feel... Wet. Oh, oh goddess. Wet. I can feel your tears upon my face. Gross. Uh, ask what happened to her. I... I suppose you deserve to know. Before I knew Armadia's grace, I was a very different person. I... was the concubine of Bracchus Rex. Yeah, I know. But more than his lover, I was his partner. I discovered his power to feed on the source of others, and I allowed it to... No, I made it happen. Um, why would you do that? You don't understand. No one understands. My heart held such fear. But with Bracchus, I was safe. He needed me. And I needed him. I don't think that's a very good justification. As his strength grew, so too did mine. There is nothing you cannot do when you sit on the lap of a powerful king. And I did it all. Hmm. But power changes a man as he changes his nation. Bracchus grew paranoid, angry, murderous. I'll just keep I listening. Gave him more and more, trying to win him back to me. I offered him the source of whole villages. He devoured them and demanded more. Hmm. The lands outside were once green and beautiful until I came, until I turned them over to him. Now all's poison, and the dead are restless. Uh, tell her that you should 
throw her to the dead, she deserves nothing less. There would be justice in that. My crimes were great, but in Armadia's grace I find forgiveness. Mm, to you. I found this shrine while hunting a band of wizards. I found the goddess weeping for her children, and I wept too. Uh, scoff at her alligator tears. You may be skeptical as you wish, but my grief was true. Hmm. Through Armadia, I saw my sins, and I could bear it no longer. I threw myself from the cliff at the entrance. I tried to rid the world of my evil, but Bracchus would not allow it. He brought me back from the Hall of Echoes, locked my soul away, and demanded my obedience. Even in death, he commanded me. How did you escape? Only when two source hunters ended his curse was I free. Since then, I have returned here and spent centuries trying to heal the pain I've caused. And now... She drops the now empty soul jar to the ground, smashing it to pieces with her foot. You have my thanks, sister. Uh, sure, it was my pleasure. Bye. Thank you for your wisdom and for your bravery. Go in Armadia's grace, friend. <laughs> Green deer. Guess we'll take those strength boots, maybe. Intelligence helmet probably doesn't do anything for us. Thievery, eh. Oh, polymorph skill book. Let's take that. I wonder what happens if I kill her. I wonder if everybody's going to attack me if I do this. Alright, so we quick save. Let's just try. <laughs> Uh-oh, fuck. <laughs> everybody's mad. Nope. Nope, not a good option. Alright, good to know. So if you want to kill her, you have to smash her soul jar unless you want to fight all the Seekers, which is a really bad idea because they are very important to the quest line of moving on from Act 1 to Act 2. Alright, so we need to talk to Gareth, let him know that we have the Purging Wands, but first, let's get rid of some of this excess gear that we have. Because uh, our bags are getting pretty full. Okay. Osa, you should have most of the shit. Yeah, Garrett's back, I know. Sell that and that. And we already know these. We don't have a summoner. Might hang on to that one. That looks like it could be interesting at some point. Uh, don't think we'll need these swords anymore. I might hang on to the Fang of the Winter Dragon for now. On the off chance that we got another really good one-hander. That we could pair with it. Doubt it'll happen, but you never know. Drained wand. Oh, shit. Is there anything I can buy from this guy? Ugh, you got a lot of shit, dude. I mean, we could get resurrection scrolls. I don't feel like I need them, though. Fuck it, we'll just give him a really good deal. Was it you who saved Sir Gareth from the Magisters? Seven yeah, now yeah, was... uh-huh. Yeah, I saved him. Get with the program, buddy. That was a while ago. Right, one more vendor over here. Let's talk to him real quick. He works fast, checking weapons to see if they're battle-ready. He thumbs Ooh. into a blade. It draws blood. 
He grins. It's not a bad weapon. Almost tempted to get that. Um. Uh, I think we're just gonna sell some shit. So we shouldn't need any of these belts. Or these rings. We'll keep the unidentified stuff for later. And shit, that's all the gold he has. All right, cool. The blade is thirsty. Yep. All right, let's find Gareth. Gareth. There he is. You have worked miracles, Simone. Hey, you're a traitor. Do you have any gold? Gareth's back. No. Yeah, we can get out of here. Credit lies elsewhere. Hey, you're a traitor. Do you have any gold? No. Maybe we'll be able to. All right. You oh, you're a last. traitor. I'd no doubt you'd find your you way. Got to some us. gold. Not after witnessing your bravery. My Lucian blocks. Stop fidgeting, lad. Get rid of some paintings. For a while oh, there, I had one foot and both particulars in the Hall of Echoes. Don't need that or that or that. Or that. Or that or that. Or that. Um. My Lucian's locked. Right. Stop Good enough. Lad. Pretty much emptied out our inventory. Let's let him know that we have I a burging wands. I'll tell you what I can. Uh. Ask how the Seekers ended up finding shelter here. We just landed on shore. Minutes later, Dallas sailed in on the Lady Vengeance, screaming like a banshee. We had no hope. Most of us were dead in the blink of an eye. Aww. She had horrors at her side. Shriekers, they call them. They still protect the harbor, firing pure death at anything that catches their eyes. The Lady Vengeance is still anchored there, too. Lucian, save us from whatever plot Dallas is concocting on it. Um, ask Gareth what happens next. Does he have a plan? Well, I had a plan. Gratiana told me of weapons that could counter these shriekers. Purging wands that steal source from its host. I went to that armory looking for one of these wands, but Alexander's bootlickers stumbled in first. I found nothing but dust and blood. Oh, what a coincidence. I already have the wands. We've got to find a way to silence those shriekers. If we do that, the Lady Vengeance is ours. Freedom uh. is ours. You do? But that's incredible. I can only imagine what ghoul-ridden depths you braved to find one. Yep. I had no doubt. You bring me hope, sorcerer. I'll gather the other seekers and travel to shore. Meet us there as soon as you can. Okay. Gareth's voice echoes throughout the Enclave with such command, it could rouse a fawn to action. We move, seekers. Now is the time to resist. The Lady Vengeance will be ours! Yay! All right. So, that's done. Let's head back over to that waypoint that we just got. And the Seekers oh. should be over here at this point. An old else pained gaze passes between the crucified. Anger bubbles within him. He seems on the brink of tears of rage. Got any gold? No. Dear ones, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Did you know the people on the crosses? They're as good as my family. But I cannot heal them. I cannot heal them. So much pain. Why don't you help them down? Or better yet, why don't you put them out of their misery? But they're still inside. They're true souls. Uncorrupted. I feel them still. I see them still. And yes, I know full well what they'll become. And I know full well they'd rather die a thousand deaths than be used in such ways. Uh, do the right thing. Help them die. I can't. These people are so beloved. Stay away from Shriekers if you want to live. I know not how much longer my friends here have. All right, I'll do it, you pussy. Ah! 
Yeah, grade three performing. Probably not the appropriate time to be jeering at your kills. But Losa, you do you, boo. I think there's a chest hidden up here. Let's let's pop up here real quick. Oh. Oh. I never noticed those vines before. There's a fucking magister up here. What? Never noticed this guy before. Or girl. Magister Ames. Oh, shit. <laughs> you damn straight. Got any gold? Nope. I figured it was only a matter of time. I'm ready to pay the price. Demand he draw his weapon. Death is every magister's rightful fate. Sorcerers have done worse to me. If I die, then at least I die with a clear conscience. Well, it's about to happen, so draw your weapon, bitch. I owe Alexander everything. I don't regret standing by him. Okay. Time to fight, buddy. Get up here, girl. Time to kill a magister. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That dude just ate a whole pumpkin. That's just impressive. 2,000 experience for killing that guy. Damn. Cool. Glad I know about that now. Alright. Let's continue exploring up here. Maybe there's not a chest. I don't see one. I could have sworn I found something up here in the past. Something worth having. Hmm. Well, guess I was wrong. Whatever. Hey, do you have any gold yet? Nope. You do have hydro spells. Do you have anything I want? No. I think moving them over here might have reset their gold. At the body of his dead comrade, tightly gripping his weapon in a cold fury. No, you don't have any gold. This won't go unavenged. I'll see to that. Okay. Doesn't feel quite right, but I need all the equipment I can There's a bunch of bodies. Let's go ahead and loot them. Empty potion bottle, human foot. We can eat that. Simple ring. Let's sell that. Uh, Dead Seeker. I spotted something. Battle Good to have you with us. Oh. I heard the noise of finding. The finding noise. Oh, you found the supplies. The Magisters aren't as thorough as I presumed. Let's go ahead and pick that lock. Could have sworn I switched characters there, but that's fine. I got an epic staff, rare wand, summoning helmet. Nice, two scrolls of resurrection. I will take it. Give me that bow. Not without stronger As you approach, Gratiana turns to you. Her moves are lighter now. Her voice is warmer, but still tempered by the scene around her. It would be a sweet joy to see the Magisters chased from this land. But I fear all I will see today is death. Uh, agree the Seekers have a tough battle ahead? It is not a difficult battle. It is an impossible one. Gareth will lead them to their deaths. Uh, look at her in frustration. They can't stay here in this swamp forever. What does she suggest? I told the Seeker that the soul-forged weapons of Bracchus Rex remain hidden in a vault. Bitch, we've so gone over this. Sale, if you can... But beware. Such items are of limited praise unto the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already talked about this, stupid. Alright, let's just talk to Gareth. A welcome ally. 
Lucian be Gareth glances over his shoulder. And the Shriekers keep watch, and their gaze isn't the only one we should avoid. The uh, murderer what? is here, Alexander. What comes next? Nothing, as long as those Shriekers stand. Get that purging wand and silence them. Okay. If I didn't know better, I'd think the gods themselves were your counsel. He ha! It's for the funny because they are. Pulls back before touching it. Would that I could aim this wand at Alexander myself to bleach his soul and sear his skin. No, this thing was birthed from a wicked era. What would Lucian say, seeing me confront one evil with another? Go, take down those shriekers. Okay. Probably could have not done any of that dialogue, but that's fine. All right, so let's slap on one of these purging wands we found. There's one. And that is going to give us the ability Purge. Which we can use to kill Shriekers. Other than that, they are completely immune to all forms of damage. That's two. Each one of these wands has four charges of purge on it. And I believe you can Praise get up be. to three the and on Fort way. Joy Island. Yet it seems I'm in need of you again, my friend. Do you have any more miracles in you? Tell him your strength only grows, you crave battle. We've got a boat ready to row to the Lady Vengeance. But if Alexander sees us bobbing among the waves, we'll be shark chow. Yeah, probably. So we split up. I take the Seekers to the Lady Vengeance. You go to the ruins and keep Alexander busy. He'll be expecting a breeze. Show him that you're a hurricane. Oh, baby, you know I'm a hurricane. Are you ready? We've got right on our side. A greater ally than any sulking geist or any whinging magister. I'm prepared for battle. Next, then use calmly. A moment passes as he calculates the consequences, assessing this new world as it opens up before him. He nods his thanks, then raises his voice. Seekers, we move. You are Lucian's eyes and ears. You are his sword and his shield. Burn the blackness with your holy fire! Okay. So we have got the final boss, essentially, to fight. But before we do that... Ah! Fuck off! Oh god, almost died. I'd like to kill the rest of these Shriekers. I don't recall if there's any particular reason to kill all five, but it's what I'm gonna do. All right, so we used up that purging wand, but that's okay, we have one more. And, fun fact, the helmet from the Tyrant set that we've been talking about, the five-piece set of Brachus Rex, also gives you four charges of Purge. So, uh, you know, on the off chance that you needed that, you can have more charges that way. Oh, I think you can get an extra chest if you come over here. That's what it is. All right, you. What's the problem? There you go. Let's open that up. Ooh. Got some more stuff that we can't quite identify yet. And those boots are... 3% dodge or higher resistances. That's tough. That's tough. I think we're actually going to... Combine these with some nails and use these. Yeah. I like dodge, but that's good. Um, alright, so we've got the final boss of Act 1 to fight here. Let's go ahead and quick save, just in case we need it. Let's do this thing. So it looks like we've got five magisters. 
They're level 8. We are also level 8. And that is Alexander himself, the son of the divine. One of the kingpins of the Magister faction. And I still have my fucking purging wand on. God damn it. Alright, had to waste a little AP for that, but that's okay. What's happening here? What's going on? There you go. Alright. Little buggy, but we're good. Let's use tactical retreat over behind this archer. Let's try and burn him down. Let's go ahead and adrenaline for this. We're gonna go rupture tendons and turn him into a chicken. This guy wants to tango with Losa, which is just fine. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. That's really annoying. Alright. Whatever. What goes around comes around. Mm hmm No oh dear. Alright. So on Losa, we are gonna go... Let's go for Death Wish. She's missing about 30% of her health, so that's going to give her a 30% damage increase, which is pretty damn good. Alright. That's a good crit there. Ooh. She can survive until next turn. She can do a lot of work. Come on, man. Let's get up that ladder. Take out this caster. Let's go for flesh sacrifice. And give him the old battle stomp. Kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Awesome. Alright. So, we still have Death Wish activated for plus 44% damage. Let's go ahead and Enrage. For guaranteed crits. Let's hit all three of these guys with a Whirlwind. Woo, get a bunch of health back for that. And then, maybe... Knocked at least one down, that's good. And got some health back. Shit. Shit, blind, that's not good. Hello! The Void Woken Drill Worm has arrived. I didn't use source magic, you stupid. Uh, are you afraid? Only a fool does not fear the void. Now fight! Okay. So, I don't really want to fight this thing. Let's try and take out the metamorph. One, two, three. Alright, we took out one of the Magisters. We're gonna let the Drill Worm and the Geist fight each other. We're gonna Cloak and Dagger back over to this Archer. And that is gonna be all we can do. Let's just first aid to heal up a little damage. Okay. 
Looks like he's going to fight the Drill Worm too, which is fine, I guess. Alright, Los's turn. Minus 35% accuracy, bummer. Killed him, got two extra AP for that. Let's try and knock down Alexander. Almost. They're doing a wonderful thing, which is fighting the boss instead of me, so that's just great. They can keep doing that all they want. Losa can finish off Alexander. And Sibyl... ...can come over here and help. So we'll use Tactical Retreat to get over there. Blink behind him. Let's go for... ...Sawtooth. And let's knock him down. Just all fighting, which is great. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, as they say. Let's go ahead and pop an encourage while they're by each other. And let's go all in on Alexander. Maybe we can almost finish him off. Hey, rude. Why are you fighting me, you dick? Oh, come on. Alright, Alexander is dead. 5,000 XP for that kill. Very nice. Let's go ahead and haste. Get over here. You are diseased. We're going to want to remove that disease. Bummer. He was in a good position. <laughs> idiot. Oh, that's cool. You can actually attack it from up on the ledge because it's so big. I like that. Stop attacking Losa, you cunt. Let's go ahead and take out this Magister Knight. While we have the chance. One health! Fuck you. Alright, he's bleeding. We'll just leave him up for now. Can I heal her? No, I can't. We'll just put peace of mind on ourselves. <laughs> gotcha. Fucking, what is happening with Losa? Oh, she's petrified. Cured by magic shell and bless. Oh, ow. Fuck. You big dumbass worm. Alright, let's just kill the worm. I think we're going to have to drink a potion. Do I not have any good potions? Alright, let's drink that potion. 
Let's go ahead and tactical retreat up onto the ledge. Kill the archer. And of course that little bitch went invisible. Let's try using bull horns. So that's going to unlock the ability Bull Rush. Hopefully we can hit him when you did. Awesome. And let's kill the Geist. Let's just unload, get all of our possible AP. And should be able to kill him here. Hey, Nicely done. Me. Let's go ahead and collect our loot. Oh, hello, Malady. I like Malady. She's pretty. There's a stupid fat void worm on top of her butt. But I like her. She's cool. It's safe to say that PUBG Mobile is 100% fucking rigged. That sounds like a cancerous game to play. I don't know why you're playing that. She steps forward, grabs you behind the neck with alarming strength, and pulls you close. Hey. She sniffs twice, her nose at your ear, then bites, piercing the lobe with a needle sharp fang. This is getting hot. She releases you and grins, running tongue over teeth. God woken. Uh. Take a step back and ask her who she is. I'm Malady, as I said. I'm here to help you get off this island. And you're what gets some of us out of bed each morning. What do you make of that? Say you aren't surprised you're used to being at the tip of people's tongues. Ah, of course. Too important to feel important. Very good. Huh. Well, first things first. She peers at you closely. A knowing squint in her eye. Tell me, which of those little gods did you meet? And what did they teach you? Tell, smile, little gods. Tell her she's awfully confident. They're free to smite me where I stand if I'm wrong. Ha! <laughs> I like you. She cocks her head and smiles. Say you met Tyr Sendilius and he taught you how to grant blessings. Her eyes go wide. <clears throat> Go on then. Show me what he taught you. Uh, summon the Great Well of Source within you and cast Bless on her, Malady. Hey, that stings. <laughs> you asked for it. She examines her hands, where the skin sizzles slightly beneath their newfound aura. As the spell fades, the skin heals once more. Her whole body seems to relax. Mm. You really are God Woken. I'm happy. Ooh, how unbecoming. I know, right? Come then, we set sail, your destiny awaits, etc. What destiny is that? You'll have to ask the Meister about that. She's dying to meet you. Okay. Melody beckons you to the boat. After you, darling. Uh, hang on. As you wish. Hey, I just need to loot shit. I'll be right with you, darling. Yeah. Fine. Alright, let's grab all this loot and begin the process of moving on to Act 2. And we can finally respec our characters so we can sort of balance out all the little inconsistencies that have cropped up. Nice. Fireball, epic necklace, one-handed sword, bow. As soon as we get on the boat, I'm going to pick up some more points in Lore Master. And we will be able to identify all of these uh, items that we've kind of been hoarding. Because we can't identify shit right now, and it's annoying. All right, I think that's good enough for me. Let's go. Let's go. Board the Melody boat. Melody grabs the vessel with two hands and pushes it into the water. 
She hops on board behind you. God woken. Wait till she finds out. Salty water mists your face. Your skin prickles in bright, warm sunlight. The boat bobs forward through the water, and Fort Joy shrinks behind you. Yay. Act Hard one! but victorious, the party made for the Lady Vengeance. The horrors of Fort Joy behind them. They arrived as sorcerers. They left as Godwoken. Yeah. The fate of this godforsaken world now rested on their shoulders. Or at least on the shoulders of one of them. All right, fam, that's where we're going to call episode 11 and this Light stream. Breeze kisses your cheek and carries away the smell of blood wafting up from the deck. Hang on, let's In get through distance, this dialogue. Fort Joy looms. We'd left a lot of corpses in our wake, perhaps too many. I'll be damned if I ever set foot on that island again. Don't care who I have to bury. Okay. Onward now. The sooner Fort Joy disappears from the horizon, the better. Perhaps the Seekers need help manning the ship. Hey. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up our inventory and respect the characters and do all that nice off-camera stuff. But we'll be back with some more Divinity Original Sin 2 in the very near future. So look forward to that probably Monday. I love your faces. Beard heart. Like and subscribe. Do all those things. See you next time. Bye-bye.